Hey, what's going on everybody? It's uh, Tyler here coming at you with another video. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to build a quick Microsoft Excel spreadsheet to calculate um, estimated profits on eBay just to see if buying something may be worth worthwhile, worth your troubles. This is something that, you know, once you get the hang of doing it on the computer a few times, you're going to have a better idea doing it when you're out in the real world. Um, I mean, I guess if you have Excel on your phone or something, you could even take the spreadsheet with you just to get a better idea of how much profit you may or may not make with an item. Uh, I personally use this little formula often. I use it all the time. I have it on my personal sales log spreadsheet at the top just to kind of you know, when I'm listing items and, and getting them all ready to go, I kind of have a rough idea of what I'm looking at for profit. So if you just bear with me for a few minutes here, I'm going to go ahead and start building this. Just so, you know, if you feel like following along, open up Excel um, and we can go ahead. I'll show you what the end result is. Well, you'll see it after. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over it. Okay, so first off, we're just going to kind of start by building, building out our headings here. So we're going to say um, sell price. And then we're going to have, actually we're going to have a sell price and then in brackets we're going to include shipping. In case you're charging shipping to the customers. Next sell we're going to do buy price. And then we're going to put uh, cost to ship. And we're also going to include uh, any shipping materials that are required such as bubble wrap, envelopes, boxes. Obviously you got to pay for them and you want to build that into your pricing. Um, and then we're going to have eBay fees, PayPal fees, and then profit. So first and foremost, now that everything's kind of smushed together, if you're not very privy to Excel, you can just go up to here and click Wrap Text. And what it's going to do is kind of spread everything out. And then you can just kind of move these in unison because they're all highlighted. Uh, so that way everything kind of fits in nicely. Include shipping. There we go. Also oh, ship materials. Profit. There we go. Okay, so what I like to do when I'm building these spreadsheets, I like to just start pre-building um, numbers just so I can make sure everything works out in the end. So let's assume that we're going to sell a price, an item with shipping for $25. Uh, the buy price, we're going to say we paid $5 for it. The cost to ship it is going to cost us $5. Uh, theoretically, let's say we spent $0.50 cents in packing materials. And now eBay, uh, depending on the level of store you have, if you do not own a store and you're just starting out on eBay, your multiplier is going to be 10%. Um, if you have a basic level store, it's going to be 9%. And then as you go, it's going to be lower and lower. So I'm going to say, I'm going to assume that everybody here or somebody watching this video does not own a store. So we're just going to go with the basic 10%. So by doing that, you're going to hit equals. And then you want to do the sell price, including shipping is D5 and then we're going to multiply that by 10%. So 0.1 which will be eBay will take $2.50 um, in fees for selling something for $25 including shipping. Now we want to calculate PayPal um, and a little footnote here um, I know and if you don't know that now that sales tax is being added on to um, purchases in the United States eBay's collecting sales tax, depositing it into your PayPal account, and then removing it, PayPal's dinging you for a little extra fee. They're dinging you for that extra on the sales tax. So this number here is just going to be more of a guide. It's not going to be an actuality, and you're just going to have to keep track of that on your invoices when you're printing them off or when you sell an item. So, But we're just going to go with the basic 2.9% plus 30 cents. So we're going to do equals, we're going to do a bracket, we're going to click sell price plus shipping, which is $25. And then we're going to multiply that by decimal 0 to 9 for 2.9%. We're going to close that bracket, and then we're going to add 0 0.3 for 30 cents, which means PayPal will take essentially a dollar and three cents. So now we want to figure out our profit here. So we're going to do equals the sell price, including shipping, and we're just going to subtract everything. So minus buy price, minus cost to ship, minus materials, minus eBay, minus PayPal. And then it's going to leave us with a $10.98 profit. And that's, again, a, a rough number. Um, and that's essentially it. So if the buy price was 5 and the cost to ship is still 5 we will something for, say, $40. There we go, profit is $24 instead, if everything else stays the same. Um, and then obviously if it's $10, we're in a negative. So now, 
that we have this basic formula which you then could then just you know copy and paste on top of your spreadsheet your cell log if you built the same cell log that I have um, in a previous video just check out my channel and you'll get to see it you can go along and build a full inventory spreadsheet which will allow you to keep track of all your sales and everything um, I own I own and use that spreadsheet myself and I have this at the top um, which I'll kind of pre-built just so I have an idea of what I'm looking at when I'm listing my items or I've just brought some items home from the thrift store or or local buy and sell so now that we have this built we want to dress it up a little bit so it looks a bit prettier so we're gonna highlight these and we're going to click accounting just so it's all more of a dollars value um, I mean gosh if you really want to dress it up we could then you know, drag this down a little bit add a little bit of spacing and we're gonna put a thick box border on it actually let's separate them first and then box border it so we're gonna do all borders thick box border you can dress up the top here in color I like to use kind of a more of a lighter color there we go so now it's a bit more organized and now what I like to do for this cell here just so it's a more visual is I'm gonna to go to conditional formatting I'm gonna highlight cells greater than zero I'm gonna fill with green text and then I'm gonna go conditional formatting and highlight cell rules less than zero I'm gonna dark fill with dark red text so that way if I paid you know fifty dollars if I got fifty for it boom it's in green so now green means go red means stop <laughs> as everybody everybody knows and then you know if you feel like this is a bit too cumbersome or is a long-winded or you know that obviously your PayPal and eBay fees are staying the same you can either hide the cell or just minimize it for later editing and that just kinda shortens everything down so you kinda have a better idea you're just looking at things a bit more quicker um, and again even if you're shipping costs let's say you're selling items that you're constantly shipping for free um, well actually you need to put in so you're gonna be paying you know say two or three bucks let's just leave it at five then um, but there you go. That's basically a nice, quick, um, and easy sp uh, spreadsheet add-on you can add on to your sales log, um, or even just have on a separate tab in Excel to, uh, you know, keep yourself a bit more, you know, ahead of the game. You know, so when you're doing your research for products, uh, whether it be on buy and sell, um, Kijiji, let go, Craigslist, you know, before you go out and reach out to uh, somebody who's looking to sell something, you'll have a quicker understanding um, of pre-calculated costs that are going to go into selling that item and what it's worth uh, to know you know generally if you really want to jump on something you know if you if you're buying something for five your cost to ship is ten is five and you're gonna pay you know fifth fourteen for it if someone's asking twenty and you think you can talk them down to fourteen you're only gonna make a dollar forty profit and it's probably not worth your time uh, you know obviously unless it's close but, you know like I always like say if you're gonna be buying something local and you're gonna go pick it up make sure you take into account your profits for driving all the way out there to meet them or if you don't have a car you're taking the bus just the cost of all that will go into it as well and totally eat at your profits Anyways, guys, I hope this uh, this video helped you out. I hope this little spreadsheet add-on may uh, give you a boost in your sales and your ability to better calculate and assess um, buying and selling used items. Uh, guys, if you did appreciate, it, I'd appreciate a like uh, and a subscription if you guys uh, are willing to. It takes a couple clicks, and uh, I'll be out of your hair. Um, I'm always going to be working on some new videos for you guys to help you guys out with uh, buying and selling flipping items um, and it's, it's uh, almost home time for me today so guys I hope you guys all have a great day and a Merry Christmas and I'll see you later